<laughs> She's coming. We're, we're live. I said we're live. But it's oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> She's coming. Hey, ladies. Hey, Sugar Plummy. I didn't fall asleep, but like almost. Okay. I was, okay. Our, game, our game makes me so tired. I know. I'm straining. It's relaxing, but draining at the same time. I wasn't feeling yeah. it today. It kind of irritated me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that sink You're, just pissed me off. <laughs> your drawing was so good, though. Oh, it's no. annoying. And I was, yeah, it's just, you know how we just get in mood sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just canceled the it's like, I'm, st I'm in the middle of like packing everyone's orders. Mm -hmm. So, it's it's like one of those things where if if you buy something tonight and I haven't packaged your order, then it's going to go in. But if I've already packaged your order, then it's not going to go until, like, next month. Mm -hmm. And that just sounds like an asshole thing to say. But that's, like, what it is. And so, it's, I don't know. It's annoying. But, yes. Hello, everybody. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Hi. I'm making my way downstairs, and I'm going to make some food. So, uh, I don't think Christy will be modding for us tonight. It's just going to be me and the girls. And if someone wants to volunteer from the chat as tribute, um, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, you know, we'll just kind of take turns and handle it. And, uh, you know... I can't imagine we're not going to be on more than, you know, two hours is probably going to be the max. So I got to get back to wrapping everyone's orders. Not a problem. And, uh, you know, we'll probably do, um, I think I'm going to have us do three, three items at a time. Okay. Uh, just to give us a little bit of more time in between. Mm -hmm. That way I can kind of work on stuff. You know. Sounds good. While we're live, so who wants to volunteer and go first? I can't. <laughs> Why can't? Are you cooking still? No, I'm just finishing my face. Oh uh, boy! <laughs> you know it is. Hello. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna type. All right, I have some vintage federal glass dogs. It was for the pair, and they start at twelve dollars. Hi, Carolyn. So Chacha and I, well, she was helping me look these up. I believe they're from the forties. Um, they may have like come with candy inside of them, and like attached to like a bottom, and then you like eat the candy, and then you get the dogs. That's why there's like hollow inside. I don't see any flaws. They are molded glass. So you have a scene. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Ida. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Moon face. Yeah. I have my ring light facing. Facing me instead. I hope they're getting better. Oops, sorry. So, yep, you get the pair of dogs, federal glass, I believe from the 40s. How many people are here? 11 people. All right, we can pass on the dogs. There's no interest. I have some vintage glassware. I'll show this four set first. Okay, never mind, that one broke. 
No. Yep. <laughs> well, I have a three set. I guess we could sell three of them if anyone's interested. Be careful of glass on the floor here. Hey, um, Carol. Hey, P and B. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Susan. Hey, Caroline. Hey, Sugar Plum. Hey, Carol. Hi, Gina. Hi. All right, we'll start those cheaper than I thought. Set of three, one just broke. They are etched glasses, like cordial wine, whatever you want to put in them. I believe these are mid-century. So there are three in the set. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You guys are so quiet. I was getting stones. <laughs> getting stones? Yeah, not turtles yet, but I got some slabs and some oh. dragon blood towers. And I got something else, but I don't remember what it was. Looks like they have like little uh, like floral floral arrangements on there. They're etched. Oh, I'm sorry, Carol. That sucks. It'll be all right, girl. Deep breath, <sighs> and everything will work out the way it's supposed to. Hey, Michelle. It passed, Patty. Awesome. One's effective. Hi, Patty. Hello, Patty number one and Patty number two. <laughs> <laughs> my mother was a cat hair in my mouth, and that was really gross. Those glasses are beautiful. Are those crystal? Uh, I don't know. These belong um, to my, my German step nana. What do they sound like? No, don't tap them against each other. That's how you break things. <laughs> you, okay, so put it down flat. Yep. And then just and then just gently tap one on the side. Just once, just like one tap. Hmm. What do you think, think Carolyn? They feel like thinner and more delicate. This part. And They're like, they're etched. They are etched. Oh, good, Patty. I'm so happy. They look beautiful. They are very pretty. So, yeah, the set of three because I just broke the fourth. Yep. <laughs> so, we'll set those aside. All right, and then I have another set of glasses, again, from the German Step Nano. It sure did. New set will be effective immediately. Awesome. Yay. I just, I'm just starting my green thumb this year, too, Patty. <laughs> That'll be interesting. All right, next I have six of these. I only brought two up, they're on the floor. I'm not gonna break any more. These have an etched flower design on them. They do have some minor, I don't know if these are like flaws, but you can see like some bubbles or something in there. But I felt around all the rims and I don't believe there's any cracks. Oh, bubbles mean they're like really old. Lucid, how old are they if they have bubbles? These are really old because they belong to 
Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, bubbles in glass. I think they're mid they always bubbles in glass. Well, no, I mean, like, they'll be, like, little delicate bubbles and, like, really old glass. They These do feel thinner than the last set. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> these, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, Casual. Hey, Casual Flipper. I have a half <laughs> Around. Nice fatty. <laughs> the keeper of the cage. Ooh, I got banana muffins. Sorry. Teresa <laughs> said I'm correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I know I, I read about it, but I don't remember what the year was. Sorry, I have a spoon in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I got six of these. If anyone's interested, just let me know. And that was my three. Um, uh, Lou said, are you ready or do you want me to go? I'm, I'm too ready. cozy to have all this glassware around. <laughs> I, th I think she says she's ready, which is good because I have a spoon in my mouth. All right, so I have this. Lusterware vase and it has applied flowers. They are blue and it's kind of got this, I don't know, spotty look to it. It's really pretty. It's like um, ruffled around the top. It's glazed on the inside so you can actually use it as a vase and it has no markings on the bottom. And I believe it is one foot or a foot tall. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like it. I said I like it like that. This skin to change. <laughs> and it has no chips or cracks or anything like that going on with it. No ceramic. This is ceramic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But it does not look like we have any interest in this guy. And so my next item is going to be a teapot. And it has a bamboo handle and cherry blossoms. And it's really cute. Um, it is marked hand painted, made in Japan. It has the lid which has a little hole for the steam to come out. There's the inside. Um, this, I believe, is porcelain. Yeah. And it's just got a really pretty painting on it. Okay. I got some new stuff to show everybody that I got from Cha Cha's house. Ooh. Sorry, everything is crunchy, I swear. <laughs> Andy said, honey. We'll figure it out, honey. Uh -huh. I'll just tell Andy, we'll figure it out. All right, and then if there's no interest in the teapot, I will set that aside. And then I have this blown glass um, 
either a candle votive or maybe a stemless wine glass. There's the bottom, and it's got this pretty white um, glass applied to the clear. And it doesn't have any chips or cracks. It's a really nice piece. And it's going to be a starting bid of $8. Uh, was, is today the 30th? Yes. Thank you. Oops, not twenty one twenty one. I'm just I'm trying to age all of us by a hundred years. Apparently, you don't need a teapot, Andy. I think we have like three teapots. Someone forgot the thumbs up. <laughs> Michelle P is in it for eight dollars. All right. Thank you, Michelle P. And again, this is a hand-blown hand piece of glass. Has a pontail mark at the bottom. Very pretty white color. And if that is the only interest, I will start selling it to Michelle. <laughs> Oh, I love your eyeshadow. Oh, thank you. It's you. Fancy little devil. Oh, God, that's a cat. Unprofessional color. Very thank pretty shade on you. It looks really nice with your hair. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, my God. My cat is... Okay, listen, bud. My food's right there. Can I have my food? Here, let, let me grab my food. And then you can sit up there. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> and that was my three whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah. I'm always ready. Let's go. Hi. Hi, Cha Cha. Okay. So I'm going to show some stones um, first. And then um, I do have some hard goods that are in front of me. And tomorrow I will be live from my storage unit doing. Uh, showing more clothes and stuff. So, if you don't know, pretty much everything that I show in the storage unit is just a dollar buy it now for like all the clothes. And if you spend twenty dollars while you're there, then you get free shipping on the clothes that are there. It's like a separate thing from the auctions, but it's still like me. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, I'm gonna show these bowls first. These are stone agate bowls. They're about ooh, an inch and a half to two inches deep. Hey, Lana. And this is going to be a choice between three. They are $35 a piece. This will be choice number one. My fingers in there. And then against my mouth. That's number one. Number two. This one has some character. I really like him. So he's a little bit more shallow. And he's kind of like a more like a like a shell shaped. And then number three is this one. Now I didn't know if people would like stone bowls, but I figured might as well try. Do you still have that fluorite one for 22 from the other day? Nope. Fairy bought it. Gotcha. Do you, should I get more fluorite bowls? <laughs> I would have bought it. I saw it and I was like, oh crap, I missed that. <laughs> I she just thought of it. Well, I didn't know what kind of um, materials everyone would want, so I just kind of picked out what, like, what I really liked. Um, yeah. So... Look at Fairy. She said, mine. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Fairy. <laughs> so, yeah. So, those are these guys. If anyone wants one, let me know. 
And these are good. You can put a big sphere in here as a sphere holder. You can put little tumbles in it. You can actually use it um, for your altar if you have one and you can put water in it. If you clean it out, it is safe to drink from because it's just agate, but some stones are not safe to eat or drink off of and also dissolve in water. Um, but these are just agate and so they are fine. Just so you're aware. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, do you guys want to see some chunky towers? Oh, how's my connection, by the way? I don't have Wi-Fi on. Should I turn it on? Oh, Patty, pause. I think I might be okay right now. All right, I'm going to do some chunkies. You can't have my Hocus Pocus shirt. <laughs> <laughs> she wants it, though. She's trying. She's going to try and fail. I just got that. I haven't even had it for like a year. Okay, I'm going to show these guys. Uh, not that this one. That one sold to someone. I forgot who it was. Uh, I think it was Denise. I think Denise got that one. I'll, I'll have to double check. All right. I also have two citrine towers left. So if anyone was looking for a citrine tower, let me know. I'll go through and show these real quick. This one is $25. We'll call this number one. And this is Septerium. He is a chonker. Number two is $15. And he is Septerium. And number three is also Septerium and also 15 And then the last one that is super chunky, I've got some other chunky ones, but they're like a little bit shorter. Uh, this one's 20 and this is pink tourmaline. So the other two chunky babies I have, and then we'll go back to Gina. These are both fluorite. This one is uh, strictly mostly just purple fluorite, and it is 20. And this one is uh, like rainbow fluorite. It's purple and blue, and this one is 25. we go if anyone wants any of that let me know those are my chunky babies if you're still looking for flory i have two tall skinnier skinnier ones and those ones um are like the rainbow fluoride as well uh christy's okay she just had uh uh a, like a like a family emergency kind of thing that she's uh that she's dealing with there you go yeah. she lost the right. So she's uh, taking a step back, and uh, we're just kind of giving her her space. She's got a lot of stuff she's got to do, and we love her a lot. Yes. All right. So those were those uh, chunky babies. If anyone wants anything, let me know. And here comes Gina. Maybe. She'll be yep. here in a minute. Oh, no. Now I lost my pencil. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I still have this milk glass planter with grapes and leaves on it. Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. I just got your box all packed up, darling. And uh, I'll be, you know, I'll be getting it to you shortly. <laughs> My brain forgets what words are sometimes. Ah, 
Yeah, thanks, Teresa. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> I need to get out to my garden area and start cultivating and the snow is not gonna help that. Did you get snow? We're not expecting any, but Patty, who lives only like a few hours north of me, is getting up to 10 inches on Thursday and Friday. Dang. We're, we're just supposed, supposed to be 38 with rain all day. Here. Hopefully it stays that way. But that sucks for Patty. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we get snowstorms in March and sometimes April. It sucks. Just when you get like that taste of spring and you get some 70 degree days and then like the next week you get a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, the I think that either the year I graduated or the year before, it like snowed all the way up until May, like up until like graduation. <laughs> all right, with your interest, I'll call it to Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. And um, I will be invoicing probably tomorrow night, if not tonight, probably tomorrow. Um, I fell a few days behind just because uh, it was my boyfriend's birthday and we just had family stuff going on. But I know I still have to uh, invoice for last week's auction. So that's coming, in case you were wondering. Wow, Gina's fired. I mean, it hasn't been a full week yet, but I think Thursday was like the last auction. So, yep. <laughs> I feel behind. <laughs> well, I mean, I haven't done any, I haven't invoiced for anything that happened while I was gone and since I've been back. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> it's hard. All right, I'm going to sell this little lady here that I love very much. I'm just going to start her $8. She's a presumably 60s decoupage art on wood. And I will tell you her measurements. She kind of has like Holly Holly vibes, Holly Hobby vibes. She is that lovely 60s orange. And it's about 11 and a half by nine and a half. Nine and a half by 11 and a half. There's the back. And it does have just a little bit of the wood there. There's a little hanging hook. Oh my goodness. What? Patty. <laughs> What'd she say? They got out of training and there was six inches of snow on the ground in a blizzard in, in July. Yikes. That's right. You were in the military, Patty. She's a veteran. Mm -hmm. I always think of her as a cool biker chick, though. <laughs> Patty is cool. Patty and I are probably going to be meeting up soon and uh, doing lunch or dinner and then doing the Herkimer uh, Diamond Mines. I want to go. <laughs> you want to drive out? <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> 
It's a long way to Europe. Yeah, it's further than Maryland, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, we'll pass the Holly Hob Holly Hobby Light Girl. Oh, I'm gonna show the scratch and dent donkey. Oh my god, I'm trying to slowly peel this tape off so it doesn't ruin the beautiful paint job of this, and it's very annoying. All right, this donkey would normally go for a lot more, but he is he is missing part of his ear. Oh, put him like that, you really can't tell. So just starting him at 20 bucks, he's uh, good sized. Hi, Anna. Hello, Anna. He is four and a half inches long, and he stands about four and a quarter. Oh my goodness, that was like torture. You got your first hat in B A B C H. Oh, Virginia Beach. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my whole family, they all ride Harleys. They all have Harleys. Andy wants a bike, but he doesn't want a Harley. I told him he can't have one. <laughs> yes, thank you, Patty. I think it might be a pass on the donkey, girl. All right. Well, that was my three. <laughs> All righty. Thank you. Lucid, if she's not asleep, boom, there she is. <laughs> oh. She's so quiet back there. <laughs> two stonefish, and there's silver sheen obsidian. Um, they're super huge. This guy is either an algae eater or some kind of whale. I don't know. He's different. He was the only one I could, I've ever found like that. And this guy is just a tropical fish. He's very pretty. Um, he has a lot of sheen on him, as does the, the other dude. You can see him. All right. Where's Patty Paws? She wanted fish. Did she leave? She must is have left. She one? came in and said hi, and she left. Is that the same fish you had a while back, or just a similar one? No, this is a this is a similar one. Oh. Not quite as big as the last, but he's still pretty huge. He's That's a awesome. big, big guy. Yeah. Mm. Um. Clipper, clipper. Yeah, I was thinking whale because of his little um, cuts they made down there. Well, let me know if anybody's interested in those. And next up, I have a choice of either a Hager planter or a Royal Copley planter. The Hager one is not super vintage, I don't think, but it's um, pretty retro. Like, it looks vintage. And it's embossed on the bottom and has its sticker from Dundee, Illinois, and a yellow speckled glaze. 
And then the Royal Copley vase is a tulip style vase. It's really pretty colors. Good for the springtime. It's like a fan vase, or you could use it as a planter. And there's its marking. And they're both in really good shape. Next, I have another teapot. If anybody's interested in one of these planters, let me know. Um, and it's got, it's like a set for two. It'd probably hold just enough coffee for two if you wanted to serve coffee out of it. Teapot, stoneware, set of two. And it's going to start at $8. And it's really pretty. It's got the um, traditional like brown pottery color. And it's glazed over. It's kind of texturized and has this weak pattern in the center. And it has its lid. And then you get the two cups and two saucers. And that's the pattern on those. Really pretty stoneware. Um, and yeah. That was my three. All right. Are you guys ready for a speed round? I'm not ready. I'm almost ready. So I'm making sure you guys are ready for a speed round. Yeah? All right. Hi, Lana. This is really... What? What'd you say? I said hi, Lana. And thank you, Teresa. Hello, Lana. You ready for the speed round? Let's go. First item. This is really, 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 really old. There isn't any English on it. I don't know what it says. There's the back. This is a $30 start. It is a container with these beautiful cranes on it. And it opens. It is gorgeous. So that's 30 bucks. Next. This is a soapstone pedestal. Pretty deep. This is $25. Soapstone. And my third item, those are both kind of expensive. This is five bucks and it is a little jewelry box with a wood bottom and it does need uh, polished, five bucks. Did the teapot have rabbits on it? It had wheat. Huh? It had wheat. Oh, the, wheat. Right, no, the first one? Uh, the first one had cherry blossom. The first one had cherry blossom. The other one I sold to Teresa for $8. So I have this beautiful crane, $30. Again. Soapstone pedestal dish. This is a stone, $25. And this is a little jewelry box for five bucks. Let me know if you want any of that. Gina, you ready for your speed round? Oh, that's not Gina. That was me. There she yep. is. <laughs> All right. I have a set of four of these glasses here. Can I type? Does that count? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, set of four etched cordial glasses. This is what they look like. Hey, Jen, Jen. Girl, I was just thinking about you. How you doing? Hey, John. You want the box? She just said box. Box. 
<laughs> I didn't type any of my stuff in. I'm annoying like that. <laughs> So I get a set of four of those, if you're interested. The $5 one? Cool, it can go with your other two things that I was getting ready to ship out. Perfect. We got etched glasses. If you like etched glasses, you know who's got them. And every single set of them, Gina has every set. Of glasses. It's very exciting. <laughs> All right. Next, um, <laughs> I'm starting these lower because one of them has flaws. Actually, they both have flaws, but I don't know if there's any interest. Um, this is what they look like. They're like these tall stemware pieces, and there is some mild chipping, and it looks like it was lusterware. Well, this one actually looks more like like a greenish brown, well, like a brown amber kind of gray. I don't know. My lighting's off. I think it's more gray. This one looks like luster wear, but the luster is like rubbing off. As you can see, it's kind of iridescent. And again, there's like some minor like chippy marks along the bottom. Not so much the top, but they're really cool. They belong to my German stuff, Nana. So they're, I'm sure they're quite old. They have little flowers there. Candle holder, yeah. So they're really pretty. Ooh. Yeah, and they're not perfect. So that is the second item. Yeah, they do kind of have a gothic look, gothic look. All right, next is for adults only. So if you have a small, any small kids watching. Oh, Tracy Tracy. sent before. Uh, she's from Germany, right? Yes. My step Nana is from Ger was, was from Germany. She died several years ago, like maybe ten years ago, almost. And she was in her nineties, so I think she was born in like I don't know. I, I didn't do that. I I forget. Maybe like nineteen eleven. So, and some of the stuff that is coming from her old house that my parents are cleaning out is from her and her even older siblings that were older than her. So some of this stuff is really old that I'm getting my hands on. So, yep. Okay. Sold to Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. I'll be done for the glasses. Now I'm going to show this thing that's for adults only. And... Buy it now, $10. It's a peen. And it's a soda light peen. And it is a little bigger than the one that Miranda had. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone would like a peen. I was like, she's selling her peen collection. <laughs> oh, no. Well, no, this is a different peen. <laughs> Polish Russian items. I don't know. Her, her husband was from germany like he spoke german and her parents were like they lived there so your husband modeled that <laughs> summers <laughs> yep these are sometimes hard to get so if anyone's interested in the peen let me know it's a, it's a peen, Lana. <laughs> it's soda light. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. 
that was my three. So if anyone's interested in the peen or this other set of four glasses, just let me know. Speed round. We lost track of what we were doing, but it's all right. I'm slow. I'm too slow. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I, I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> Planter from California. It's got markings on the bottom. They're really hard to see, but they're there. It's ribbed. Nice. And Summers, I love you. It is a wants to start. This is a piece of porcelain, and it's left in, and it's floral. And it is a um, $5 start. And you could use this for, like, paint brushes, makeup brushes cotton balls, I don't know, whatever your heart desires. And then lastly, I have at a starting bid of $20, a Hager succulent planter. And it's got a really cool glaze on it. It's like copper underneath and some kind of black silk screen looking stuff in front of it and it's got this is a Hager floral and it is a more modern one it's like a um, retro piece I made it to look vintage and it's got the felt feet on it and it's an octagon and shallow hey Summers how are you and so the, that was my three Boot ceramic planner left in porcelain are the do diddy. That was really fast. You told me to go fast. So I didn't type in what I had last time, so I'm just typing that in really cool. Or really quick. Soapstone pedestal bowl. Who's that? And then the other thing sold. So this this I showed last time. In case anyone didn't see it, it's super old. At least it's older than the 1920s. Okay. But then the soapstone is the thing is back there if you want to see it. Uh, Lana, are you the one who likes animal salt and pepper shakers? Because I just found a pair of bulldogs. Uh, this is a nut tray. As far as I can tell, by Enseiko Imports Japan. It's an $18 start. And it's like two clam, it's like a clamshell open almost, and it has uh, strawberries in the center. And there are no chips or anything on the top side, but there are a couple little flea bites around the bottom, like right here. So there's that guy. He's a pretty good size. Well, nut tray bowl thing. I don't know. Strawberry nut bowl. 18. So there's that guy. And then I have this little guy is a $4 start. And it is a vintage hand painted like tea bag holder or something maybe. It's got holes in the bottom of it. So it kind of looks like you would just like sit it on top of something and then pull it back out. There's no like brand on it or anything, but it is super cute. Four dollars. Yep, that guy. And then um, these are bulldog salt and pepper shakers and they're five bucks. And I believe they're just from Target. But they're really cute. Oh, oh hey, Carolyn. So those are my three things. If anyone wants anything, let me know. And we're going on to Gina. Alrighty. Which means I get another muffin. Yay. <laughs> you got it, Carolyn. Oh, did you did you get Jen K down for the peen? No, I didn't see that. Jen K wants the peen. Mm -hmm. Got it. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lana. Thank you, Carolyn. I got you guys. All right, I'm about to show some uh, barware. It does have some flaws, but um, these still go for quite a bit. It is marked just Germany on the bottom. Germany. It is a guy. He is a decanter with shot glasses. And I pulled his hat out and I broke the cork, probably because it's so old. It did split in half and the other half of the cork is down inside of him. But it does go back on to secure his hat. And he does have a little chip on his cheek, as you can see. And this shot glass has a little chip right there. And I think that is it. There was a little chippy area on the bottom somewhere, too. Oh, yeah, right here on his, on his pant right there. Just a little bit of the white exposed there. But, yeah, really cool piece. <clears throat> wow, that is really cool. Hmm. These go anywhere from like seventy-five to two hundred dollars. They're quite collectible and old. Wow. But this, you know, this one does have flaws, so I've started them lower. <laughs> the guy's expression is really funny. <laughs> is that supposed to be like a pipe coming out of his mouth? He looks like angry, confused. Huh. I don't know. Maybe. I think that's a scarf. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with his neck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's, he's really, really cool. Yeah. Yep. So I have him if anyone's interested. All right. Um, I still have these Holland dolls. They are buy it now eight and buy it now seven we have three eight dollar ones these are handmade in holland they are attached to a wooden base so they stand and they have very detailed clothing so that's one of the eight dollar ones here's the second one And the third one, I especially like this guy's coat. Look back a bit. Nice coat. <laughs> That's the third one. Again, those guys are eight dollars. And then the seven dollar one here is just slightly smaller. This couple, they're having a great time. Pretty dresses. So detailed. Again, you can just stand them and display them. So we got those guys if anyone's interested. And then my third item is a tapestry purse. A purse? A purse, a crossbody purse, oh. with uh, fish on it, like ocean animals. We have a seahorse, a lobster, a whale on the back, really clean inside, a gray color. Compartments on the front, really clean inside. Okay. 
crossbody. Oh, that's cool. You're doing sales from your storage unit now. Mm -hmm. This is just over nine inches long and wide. It's about eight inches, and the strap drop is about not, not adjustable, and it's about 21 inches. Strap drop. I don't think it's branded, but tapestry purses are they had a comeback recently. So that's my third item if anyone's interested. <laughs> These are some vintage well it's a vintage pair of creamer and sugars and they have poppy on them the creamer has a red and a purple poppy and they're very shiny they have lots of luster for being like a white paint and they have really nice lines with these handles and this is got a pink and a Purple, yeah, it looks blue, but it's purple. And then the blue poppy on the back, and it's double handled. Again, it has really nice lines, and it has a little matching lid. And I think this is porcelain because it's super, super thin. You can see through it in the light. And they would just look cute anywhere, and they're really cute for spring. Then I have this little um, cruet, and it's got some Asian markings on it. It's red. It has gold embellished when, on When it. you say cruet, I think of croquet, and I don't know why. <laughs> and it's a $5 <laughs> start as well. Cruet. And... Um, It's got some really pretty flowers in some type of fe uh, peacock, I believe. And there's some marking on the bottom. And you could just put a cork in it. Because the top has a hole. That's a good size for a cork. I probably have one that fits it, actually. And so that's a pretty, like, orangey gold piece. And then... Oh my god, what was that? That's a weird word. Huh? That's a weird word. Oh. And I have these very like Victorian looking salt and pepper shakers and they're super worn. And they're a five dollars starting bid. Um they don't have any markings and like a lot of the finish has worn off. But again, they've got that like um, Victorian look and they've got like shell looking things and they have feet, which is really cool. Oh, they look like they should have come like in the beauty or in the, yeah, in the beauty and the beast castle. They remind me of um, like the clawfoot stuff. You know, because everything there was alive. So like they've got legs. I in. Oh, I just did. Okay. Um, and I got you for the Lana's in for the creamer and sugar for $5. Thank you, ma'am. So I still have this cruet and these shakers available. They're $5. If anyone's interested, let me know. And that was my three. Oh, my God. Hi. I'm sternly looking at you. So, uh, I said 18, but this is actually 12. I read it wrong. So, if anyone does want this, it is $12. It's got the strawberries in the center. And this is a brown bag 1995 cookie art. It fills number five. Cookie press. So, it's a $5 start. You got the apples on the top. 
And then it's like an apple tree. Cookie press. You did not have a jelly bean dish. It made me very sad. I had to put my jelly beans in sad glass plate. Not even bowl. Shallow plate. Horrible. Can I see the soft stone pitted steel dish? You can. Oh, I bend over. I get it. Look like this. Now remember, the soft stone is uh, very easy to carve with. So you can scratch and indent very easy. So don't gouge fingernail into soapstone if you don't want to make extra designs, okay? It's How much is that? Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you were with me when I purchased. <laughs> I was. You were. <laughs> It's okay. Anybody else want to fight Gina? I Carol. forget these things. <laughs> you want to fight Gina? Fight her to the death. Fight me. Come on. Come in. Fight She's me. Like, ready? Fight. <laughs> Get the chest popped. Challenge <laughs> me. <laughs> that hurts my back. Uh, well, if, if nobody want to fight her, it is not Mayor Bell. It's heavy, but not that heavy. Marble is very heavy. Okay, break your arm. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, why you think about that? I show next item. <laughs> nice, I'm sorry to ask you. <laughs> I love Olive Garden. It's delicious. <laughs> Okay, this is a uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. this is a fifteen dollar start. It's from Costa Rica, and these are hand painted coasters. Oh, I almost broke the dish. That would have been bad. Listen, there is one flaw. Apparently, I talk in this accent for the rest of the show. Hopefully, it don't annoy you, and uh, it's okay. You know, don't go back twice. LOL. Just joking. This is cheap. Right here, beautiful beard. Beard. You like beards? Second beard. Two beards. Beards. Bear. How do they say beards? Creature with wings. <laughs> In this sloth, I like sloths. I have, I have many paintings with sloths. Next two, pretty butterflies. Butterflies. How mean beard. Butterflies. So, you get a two, four, five. You get five. Uh, apparently now I'm Australian. It's fine. You get five coasters. And the coaster thingy, they are all wood. They are all very pretty. And uh, I mostly think I put it at fifteen dollars because I really like it, but uh, I could let it go for fifteen dollars. Otherwise, I think I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. I go through it anyways, just in case. Ah, uh, I mean that's pretty much it. I got this beautiful, really, really old uh, thingy. This is twenty-five dollars. I know I said thirty, but I feel like thirty might be too much, even though it's like antique. It's all right. So, if anyone likes, you know, powder, you, you like powder, powder bill, powder your face, boop, 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 powder. Is the one girl from TikTok says, powder the donut, when she does her makeup, it's very cute. Okay, this is all to Gina, nobody likes apples, nobody cook apples, no <laughs> apple cookie press for you, and nobody like my strawberry dish. Oh, that's cute. Right? Twelve dollars, Gina. Mm. <laughs> Again, you were with me when I bought that too. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gina, it's your turn to, to save the auction. Okay. We went off rails a little bit. Anybody <laughs> want anything else? You just tell me. Okay, thank you. 
<clears throat> no, my throat. <laughs> oh, Gina's frozen. Nope. I am? Oh, no, I think you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Can I get there with Kyosters? Hey, Carmen, of course. Hey, Carmen. The Kyosters are yours. <laughs> I have a vintage <laughs> uh, pottery teapot. You can see, like, the terracotta color there where it's unfinished, it's unmarked. And the top has like one of those notchy bits, but it's too small to actually latch it, if that makes sense. Like you'd have to move it over and then it would be like off center. So it more, more or less just kind of sits on the top there. Carolyn, it's for sale. Do you want the dish with the crane? It's only $25. <laughs> people are going to start backhanding me it's fine though it's all in love I promise thank you Carmen and thank you Gina before I forget how's it going Carmen so we have that guy all right, I'm going to show some stones, I suppose. Oh, ha, ha, you bet there. Look out. Hello, Miranda. I can't do French. For a French accent is hard. <laughs> it always turns to Russian. Teresa said price. She wants the price on something. I don't know what it is. Gina, can that be used? And Teresa said teapot? I think so. Um, the inside has like those little holes right there so the water can be poured. I believe so. I mean, I can't guarantee it, but. You haven't put water through it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't put water through my teapot. It's, paint it's painted on the inside, though. It's really pretty. Hey, I think I might have some pieces that match that. It's glacier it should be okay. Okay. All right. So, Teresa, I see where you say you want teapot. So you came in first. You want the teapot? I think yeah, she wants the price on the teapot, I think. Oh, it's $8. <clears throat> Hi, Kevin. And then she said... Want teapot. Is it? Can you bid on it? I put starting bid of $8 up above. Okay, so it is it is a starting bid. So Michelle's in at 8. Teresa, you got to throw a 9 down. I don't know what the wow is for. Michelle, you're in at 8. <laughs> We were both after. It's okay. I have food in my mouth. Teresa's in at nine. Michelle's in at ten. I haven't given it a full cleaning. I literally just brought it up from my car today. But I will give it a good cleaning before I ship it out. Teresa is out, so... We're going to sell it to Michelle at 10. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You can't see me, but I'm waving my arms in the air. 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Sold. Sold to Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. To Michelle. I forgot that part. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I did already type the info in for this. This is 25. It is an obsidian carved skull with a mouse sitting on top. Oh, he's really cool. Now, I understand why now sometimes they ship stones to you with like this oily residue on it. And it used to be quite shiny. And now that it's been sitting around, it's got like these 
white areas being exposed. So yeah, I guess the oil helps keep it shiny and black. But it is like a matte finish. Hi, Cece. Thanks for your bids, ladies. <coughs> Teresa said, yikes. <laughs> I think the mouse is pretty cute. Carol's in a 25. Thanks, Carol. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know why, but all that made me think of was that song. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds of silence. Yeah. I don't I know why, but... I love Simon and Garfunkel. Oh. I don't. I like the newer one and not the old one. All right, going to call it down to uh, Carol. Well, the Carol. Thank you, Carol. That was my second, I think. I don't remember. Do you? Yes. Yeah, awesome. That's right. <laughs> this was my third item. Okay, I have a pool ball left. I have a yellow one ball left. He's $20. Can you give me an email for the tea set? Who'd she get the tea set from? I don't know. Well. Well, then it must have been Lucy if it wasn't from you. Maybe. Right? Lucy, did you have oh. a tea set? The only person that bought a tea set from me was Teresa. She said Miranda. Lana, I don't know what you're talking about, and now I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> she said the other lady <laughs> all right this guy's 20 if anyone's interested just let me know that was my three kevin i don't have any eight balls right now i'm sorry hey 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 if she yeah. makes yeah. sugar yeah, I do need her um, information for that. My email is right there in the corner of the screen. If you could just email me your contact info, and that would be great. Okay, so up next, I have this vintage compact mirror. You may remember this. It was sold previously in a sale, but it was not claimed. And it still has a little bit of powder in it. It's got like a pinkish tone. And I want to say the mare is kind of loose in the top, but it's going to be a $15 start. It has Art Deco lines on the top. Of course, you can see it has a lot of wear. And then it's got this swirl pattern on the back. And it's just a really awesome piece. I see Teresa in at 15. <laughs> yeah, it's a really cool one. All right, and if there's um, no other interest, I'm going to start selling it to Teresa for $15. When are we finishing? I don't know. We've been on what, like so we'll probably go another forty five minutes maybe. <clears throat> okay, and we're sold to Teresa for fifteen dollars. Um this next item I'm gonna turn off the lights for it is a fairy lamp and it was also um purchased and never paid for and I have some fairy lights in it at the moment but it's meant to hold like a tea candle and I don't know where my dim 
demonstrator tea candle is, but it's a red color. It's a diamond point, um, and it's circular. Hi, Patty Paws. And it's going to be a starting bid of 35 but before you bid, it's flash. So it's not like the glass is red. It's like the glass was colored red. And it does have some wear to it. But you don't find red fairy lamps too often. And it's still a really cool piece. Um, there's the top and the bottom. So you put it next to your bedside and you put a little tea light candle in there. But if there is no interest, we can go ahead and, oh, Quinty is in for 35. Um, I think I'm going to use it for one night, Quinty, and I'll ship it. <laughs> Anybody would like to come in at 36? If not, I will start selling this to <clears throat> Yeah. Um, I Patty! Lucid has a fish. Show show the stone fish too. Okay. I and think Patty Paws is back. And she keeps asking for a fish. <laughs> like, we are going to sell this fairy lamp to Quintia for $35. Let me just size it uh, All right. Nice score, dude. You're going to like it. All right. The stonefish. They're a uh, $40 choice. And they're silver sheen obsidian. As you can see, he's super silver sheeny. And this guy may be a whale or an algae eater, but I don't know which one. And he's pretty big. And then I have this fish, also silver sheen obsidian. And he's always sheeny. Like, you can see the stripes in him. And these are, like, super polished. Um, so, $40 choice giant fish stones yeah i know they go sometimes they go over a hundred dollars in auctions it's crazy the um fairy lamps so that's the fishies this one is unique like he there were no other ones like him at the place and He's just got some really, I don't know, bright spots. And then this is like the one that I sold to Sally, but he's not as big. He's pretty close, though. All right, Patty. Well, if you want one of those fishies or if someone else wants one of those fishies, let her know. I know you kept asking me for fish. Boom. Giant fish. I'm getting more little goldfish in, but those won't be here for. Um, okay, that was three. The fish don't count. Oh. Um. I asked you to show those. <laughs> it's just like a bonus. <laughs> Five dollars starting bid choice. This is a potato. No problem, Patty. And this is a bottle of Stetson um, aftershave. And it's got the Art Nouveau scroll work and flower. Still has the paper. And the person before was using it as an incense holder, incense stick holder, which um, would be great use for this bottle. Oh, no, yeah. I can't get little fish. They come in big sizes. Well, like the place that I thrift them at, they're bigger. $5 starting bid. Choice, potato or Stetson um, bottle. And the potato says, bicentennial 
Um, Belinda and Clay, March of. Oh, I don't know. I can't see. 2016. This is from 2016. Handmade. Okay, that was my three. <laughs> I love you. All right. <clears throat> so I don't have anything else on my table to show you, so I'm just going to run over um, what I've already shown, and I'm going to start with the new chunky towers that I got in and uh my stone bowls so if you want anything just kind of describe what you want in the chat i'm gonna go kind of quick ish um this is twenty dollars and it is a pink tourmaline uh chunky tower these are septarium towers this is the chunkiest one he is 25 Hey, Mari. And then don't forget, uh, tomorrow I will be in my store. We're not ending. But don't forget that tomorrow I will be in my storage unit at 2 uh, Central, 3 Eastern for um, to sell more dollar clothing. I've got a bunch of clothes i got to get rid of, so the fastest way to do it is sell them for a dollar. And if you spend $20 over there, then um, they get shipped for free. And if you spend less than $20, I'm just going to probably put those with your other stuff. Instead of shipping them separate, unless you end up getting, like, a big item, um, then it'll be shipped separately. So if you only get, like, one or two things from over there, I'll just add it to your stuff over here. This is $15. It is another Ceterium. We'll see. This is set septarium number one for the 15 and then number two for the 15 is this guy so these are chunky babies and then the other chunky guys i have are fluorite uh this one was 20 it is basically solid purple fluorite and the other one is 25 That's that one. So if anyone wants any of those, let me know. And then I showed you my agate bowls. These are all $35. They're about an inch and a half to two inches deep. Got that one. This one. And this one. So those are the stones I showed. I don't think I showed. I've got some jadeite and some other things. I think those are the only stones I showed. And then I had, this is a cookie stamp and it is an apple tree. It's from 1995, it is $5. This is $12, it is like a nut tray and it has strawberries. And this is by uh, imports in Seiko, Japan. And it doesn't have any, um, chips on the top side. On the underneath, it's got a couple flea bites over here. And right down here. There's that. And then I think the only other thing that I showed that was past, maybe, is this guy. Um, he is $25, and he's got these beautiful cranes on him. Gorgeous. And he is a container. I got it, Ida. I just haven't, uh, fit. I gotta fix everything still. And then it doesn't have any English on the bottom of it. So this guy is $25. It's absolutely gorgeous. There we go. And let's see. So Gina would like this strawberry plate. Thank you so much. Thank you. I haven't packed up your stuff yet because you you literally have like four things because I shipped your stuff before I left for John John's. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I thought that was funny. I was like, usually Gina's got a huge box. I was like, that's so weird. She only has a couple things. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Shipped your stuff already. 
Okay, so um, anybody interested in anything else? So I've got the agate bowls, the towers, the beautiful crane piece. Um, my dog is trying to eat banana muffins and the cookie press. And I think that's everything I've shown today. I've got a lot of other things for you. Lana, I don't know what you're asking. Try again. Out. <laughs> Are you lagging? <laughs> is somebody lagging? She she is a lagger. You do you want an agate bowl? And if you like stone bowls but you don't like those, I actually have two other ones. I'll show these and then I'll go on to Gina. Um, this one is thirty five dollars too, and it is a tree agate heart shaped bowl. Ah, oh. how pretty is that? <laughs> So we got that one. And then this one is 20. And this is African Bloodstone. And you can stand him up, but he has to lean against something. He's not perfectly flat down here. I thought he was, and then I tried to stand him on something, and it did not work. But he has a nice, like, clear part right there. So yeah, those are the bowls I got in, and uh, that's the stuff I showed. And unless anybody wants anything, we're going to go on to Gina, and if you want something, I'll write you down. Okay. I like your shirt, Miranda. I like the sunflowers. It's pretty. Thanks. It says Stay Wild, and it was from Walmart. It was 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I have some blue goldstone towers. They are by it now's 12, 16, and 20. Here's the $12 one. Here's the $16 one. It is taller and chunkier. Those have little like little bites there at the bottom where you can see the stone. And there goes my pen. The twenty dollar one is right here. And this has like a a scrape or something right there. Just FYI. Thank you, Lana. Very sparkly. As long as you promise to take care of it, Carolyn, I can do that. That's fine. That'll be all right. It's, it's a beautiful little dish thing. I love it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. The $16 one is yours. Thank you, Carol. The $12 one is yours. Thank you, ladies. I still have the $20 one left. You're going to pet it? <laughs> Carolyn is going to pet it. <laughs> I think I might understand your sentence. <laughs> She's like, I'll pet it as long as I love live. <laughs> <laughs> she said yes. You can pet it all you want. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. If anyone wants a twenty dollar one, just let me know. Next, I'm going to show some silver plated artisan earrings. Ooh! I'll buy it now's of eight dollars choice. Number one is blue gold stone. Ooh. Fish hooks. Number two is Blue Appetite. They have that lovely asymmetrical artisan look. They're studs. And three and four are Red Jasper. 
Number three has more ornate design around them. Fish hooks. And number four is red jasper, but with a, like a simpler setting around the stones. Now I stab my finger. So if anyone's interested in those, they're just dollars a pair. They're silver plated, artisan made. Patty, you got it. Which one were you interested in? Thank you. Blue goldstone, I figured you got it. Thank you. They're so pretty. Thank you, Patty. If anyone's interested in the other ones for eight, just let me know. <clears throat> and my last item are some dolphins. I believe they're a Jasper. And they're just five dollars choice. Lisa, you want number three? You got it. They're the more ornate red jaspers. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. All right, the dolphins. One number one is like a burgundy color. I believe they're a jasper. Just a cute little dolphin. Thank you. Number two is like a brown and cream. I believe it's a jasper. Doesn't look like an agate. Doesn't have like that non-opacity to it. So these guys are just $5 each if anyone's interested. Lucid, are you alive? Yeah, is it my turn? <laughs> no, you just made a noise and it like sounded like someone was like breaking it or something. No, I'm okay. All right, that was my three. If anyone's interested, just let me know. Thank you, ladies. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm here. Okay, these are really awesome. I think there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have a full set of eight. And they're these adorable quilted um, placemats. And they have like little mushrooms on them and fruits and vegetables. Mushrooms and fruit. Oh, yeah, there's no vegetables. And the backs are this brown flower. Um, pattern and again they are quilted and the set of eight is eight dollars buy it now if anyone's interested i was looking for this book i was sitting on it Holy. okay so eight dollar buy it now vintage face mats i don't know if anybody does like the mushroom thing in their kitchen. And Can I see them again? Huh? Can we see the pattern again? Yeah. Oh, Ida um, just came in. She got them. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ida. And yeah, it had like dragonflies and butterflies and mushrooms and all kinds of stuff. Really cute. Cool little set. Ida, I'll be doing the clothes tomorrow at um at 2 Central, 3 p.m. Eastern, in my storage unit. Okay, and then these guys are some napkin holders, and I have a choice 
between a s three different sets of four, and they're going to be, um, I guess, a $3 starting bid choice. I have my C key is still not working. It's a starting bid hoi. And so these are Abaca napkin rings. Um, they're still kind of in, in their package, like the staple came out. Um, so that's like hemp. And then they have these little wooden ones. And then they have these lighter wood ones that have the carving in them. And if you wanted to like mix them up, you could do like an anthropology setting. And then also I have a set of eight swan napkin rings. I believe there's eight. Let me not lie to you. One, two, three, four. Oh, I lie. There's six. And they're ceramic and they're little um, swans. So it'd be good for Easter or something like that. There's its face. And that'd be a $5. Buy it now on these guys. Why aren't you sleeping tonight? It's not going to be the only time I do it. Yeah, I do it tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow, another day, and then um, Monday as well, the day after Easter. I got a lot of stuff, girl. Don't underestimate it. There's a lot. <laughs> It'll be more than just tomorrow, I promise. I got Ida for the swans. I've got Teresa in at three for the choice of... Um, these guys and Teresa the Teresa the swans were a five dollar buy it now I'm sorry I'm lazy and I didn't type so this went to Ida and then the um three dollar napkin rings were choice between one of these sets if you're still interested. If not, that's okay. Um, and that was my three, I think. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> yes, Lana. It does have a purple. You can keep talking. It does have purple, Lana. <laughs> You just like stop talking. Um, I'm gonna go over stuff that uh, didn't sell last time because it's just what I have over here. This is uh three dollars and it is a porcelain container with these beautiful flowers on the top. That's three dollars. This is a pair of bunnies for six dollars. These are the famous dogs from Home Co. These are eight dollars. And then the other thing that I've got just sitting in front of me, this is eight dollars as well. It was made in the USA and it is a a tray for bonbons, for jewelry, for stones, you know, just kind of whatever. And it's eight bucks. And this is what it sounds like. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. So if anyone wants any of that stuff, let me know. There's Miss Fancy. Hello. All right. I have a random lot of two glasses. $2 start. You get two glasses. One is this green one, I believe. I'm not sure if this one's as vintage as the other one, but they came together from Step Nana's house. Pretty green color, has some minor wear to it. So you get that one, and then you get the second one. This one's really pretty. It has uh, roses on it, etched. 
And I didn't notice or feel any flaws on this one. But you get these two in the lots. This one will make a nice candle holder. Diana says, can I see bunnies again? Uh, I'll show you on the next round. And Carol says, ceramic coated metal? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. We can pass on the glasses unless someone comes in. Next, I'm going to show some stones. Dogs are buy it now at 14. And the cat or the firework Jasper is a buy it now of eight. These are the eight dollar ones, your choice. Red Jasper cat or fireworks Jasper. Or actually it might be chrysanthemum Jasper. Those are both eight. Carolyn, want just the green one? Keep the other? Well, you could have it for a dollar then. How about that? Thank you, Carolyn. The green one is yours. Thank you. Okay, so the cat and the chrysanthemum jasper are eight. And then the two dogs, these are 14, your choice. They are quesara stone. Ida, you want the rose glass? You got it for a dollar, thank you. ladies. So these dogs are 14 if anyone's interested. Nice. That's what I was thinking. I almost wanted to keep it. Just it's so pretty. The rose on it's really pretty. These guys are eight. Just let me know if you're interested. Thank you, ladies. And then my third item will be this agate heart. Agate heart with Druzy. Buy it now of $12. Buy it now of 12 Good size palm stone. Has a little Druzy in there. With some sparkles. There's the back. So this guy's 12 if anyone's interested. And that was my three. All right. Thank you, ladies. Oh, I didn't put lotion on. I muted her. I'm rude. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. It's okay. Um, This is a deck of Art Nouveau tarot cards. They're called Golden Art Nouveau. And it's a sealed deck. Has the SKU code for you to scan if you need to figure out the meanings. $12. Starting bird. Art Nouveau tarot. And so the cards are going to be really pretty. 
And then on the, there's the chick petting the lion on the back. So they'll all be done in that swirly style. I don't know if Lana's, who Lana's talking to. If you're talking to me, Lana, this is a starting bid of $12 for the tarot cards. Okay, yeah. $12. She's a bit of a lack. These are tarot cards, yeah. It's a regular tarot deck. It's just got an Art Nouveau um, aesthetic. <laughs> okay, I got you, Carolyn. I figured. Lane is in for 12. Anybody like to come in for 13? If not, I'm going to start Selling them to Lana for $12. Going once, going twice. Hold to Lana for. Thank you very much, Lana. Okay, and I'm just going to show you the guys. You got you the guys. You guys, the stuff that didn't sell for me. Um, this is a lusterware vase. It is one foot tall and it is eleven dollars. Oh, I'm confused, Lana. Okay. Lana, you got I think, it for, I think she thought Carolyn was bidding it. Yeah, so you got it for twelve. Yeah, <laughs> and sure. then um these will all be my five five dollar items coming up next. You scan the SKU code and it can tell you the meanings, but basically the cards are going to be there and they they have a universal meaning i mean so um but yeah if you scan the sku code the booklet comes up online so these are all my five dollar items just type s and p if you want the salt and pepper shakers with the feet that are pretty worn um potato if you want the potato planter left in if you'd love this lovely left in porcelain um cup thingamadoodle um type cruet if you want the cruet and i think that was it for my five dollar items um three dollars choice this is napkin one napkin two um I did have some planners. I had two Hager planners. This one is 15. This one is 20. And I have, oh, just type 15 or 20 for one of those. Teapot, it's um, $8. It's uh, got the bamboo handle and the Japanese rose blossoms, and it's porcelain and made in Japan. And it's hand painted. That is $8. Just type teapot if you'd like that. You'd like the cruet, Carolyn? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, again, this bad boy, he was $8. And booth pottery. It's an old ceramic, probably from like the 70s, made in California by Booth Ceramics. It's got a basket weave. It's texturized. It's like a bluish greenish color. It's really, really pretty. If you that's your accent color in your home, that was $10. Just type Booth, B-O-O-T-H, if you're interested in that. And I think that was everything. Yes. Yeah. Ready. 
Thank you, guys. I'm definitely doing art. And I messed up my art. Oh, and I have those fish for $40 if they want them. <laughs> I don't think you can buy one from them. And the she is fish. Okay, Lana. Lana, Vanna, Fifa, Vanna. Lana, these are the bunnies. And they are six dollars. <sighs> Good Jesus. I just punched it. Still fine. You want it? All right. You get the bunnies. They're very cute. That is correct. I got this little thing. She's four dollars. Look at that mischievous face. <laughs> she looks like she just buried her grandma in the yard. But anyways, she's cute. This is a tomato trapper keeper. It's $3. You put your tomatoes in it. You know, if you really like tomatoes. So Lana's saying yes to th some things. She's saying yes to five, yes to six. Uh, if five was actually supposed to, the five was supposed to be six for the bunnies. We're good. Okay. I got it, girl. Uh, this is five dollars. These are by Carol Andres, and they are they're coasters, and they've there's chickens on them. You know, roosters. Well, I was going. And then I had this was five bucks. These are crystal bouguers by Laurel. And they're candle holders. Crystal candlestick holders. Those are five bucks. Uh, what are some other things? This is some pottery. It's six dollars. It's got a Native American. A buffalo and a sun. A little bud base. I've got more of this pottery as well. Um, if you want more, I got a whole shelf over there to show you guys. This is four dollars. Yellow, and it's busted on the back, but it's okay because it still works for how it's supposed to be. There's only a couple more things over here, and then we'll throw Gina back on. This is, oh, almost broke that. This is Sunflower hand-painted a uh, patience exclusively for Seymourman Inc. Ten doll hairs. Sunflower tray. Tray bowl plate with hand dolls. Very pretty, very nice, very spring. How some better? Yes. Ten doll hairs. <laughs> Gorgeous. I hit the two. Hey, last thing. Sandy oh, says, oh my god. <laughs> I think to what you said. You had some wooden candle held there with an animal on each merenda. Do you still have it? Um, They weren't... Whoops. Oh, it's a good thing there's not a dog down there. <laughs> I knocked my dog out. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, they weren't wood. They were um, like s pottery. They were like heavy pottery, and Quintia actually got them. Uh, this is a vintage R I V E S Rives shaker and ice bucket. This is fifteen dollars for the set. It does have the topper. I just dropped it. Just be warned that this right now is stuck in this, and you're gonna have to like jerry wig it, jerry rig it to get it out. But that is available as well. And that's everything that's over here, unless you want me to show you every stone under the moon. If you want someone, let me know, Gina. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, tomorrow at 
Eastern to Central. I will be in my storage unit live doing a clothing sale. Um, there's also some vintage towels. Uh, there's a really soft blanket. I've got some bundles of kid clothes. I also have shoes and bags. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty big one. Pretty much everything is a dollar. And if you spend $20 while I'm there, then the stuff that you get that's there, uh, you will get for free. I have big Labradorite um, for free. Stuff. Shipped for free. What? Shipped for free. What did I say? You would get it free. Oh, yeah. Shipped for free. Free shipping. So if you spend $20 while I'm in the storage unit, then anything you buy that's at the storage unit will, will be shipped for free. So if you spend less than $20, that stuff I'm just going to add into your normal stuff. Um, otherwise, I'm keeping it as separate as possible, which is why there's a free shipping option. Anyways. Cool. Continue. <laughs> we have this iPhone 11 case for $4 if anyone's interested. Brand new, never opened. This is iPhone 2019 bling glitter case. The good brand. $4 if anyone's interested. I'll show the uh, federal glass dogs again in case anyone missed them. The pair is a starting bit of 12. And that's a really good deal, by the way. Those are people like those in the vintage community. Oh, nice. If they don't sell, bring them on a Monday when you come to my channel. Okay. Maybe somebody vintage will come. These are about from the 40s, the 1940s. So those are 12 for the pair. Um, I still have two pairs of silver plated artisan earrings for $8 each. Hang on, Triple C. I'll show you in a minute. I still have an agate heart with Druzy for 10. 12. 12, sorry. Um, I still have this very old and very cool barware, like decanter with shot glasses. <laughs> Guy is 25. He's stamped Germany on the bottom. Again, this is from Step Nana's house. It actually says something on the back there, too. SG521, I think. Guy is 25. <clears throat> I still have the Holland dolls. They're $8. And smaller ones seven they're slightly different and these guys are eight they come on a wooden stand to display them i still have the tapestry purse for eight dollars cross body i still have the 60s decoupage on wood picture i think it's like eight and a half by eleven and a half i think it was or nine and a half by eleven and a half And, oh, yep, still have the dogs for 14 Case of raw, stone. Still have the cat for 8 and the chrysanthemum jasper tower. Still have the, what's on his cheek? He has a flaw on his cheek. Yep, he's got a little chip on his cheek. I just got so excited because I thought I didn't eat my Butterfinger yet. And then the it was empty. I already ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sad duck now. I'm sad duck. <laughs> this donkey with a chipped ear is severely discounted at $20. It's quite large. He's carved onyx. This is easily like a $40, $45 piece all day. He's got a chipped ear. He's only 20. You're a bad nut. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, you want the two glass dogs, Lana? You got them. Thank you. I think I only have like one stone dog left. 
the number. Oh, there's the red. One of the dogs are yours. Thank you. I still have sets of vintage glasses. Um, this is one of them. This is a set of four. They're etched. I think this was $8 for the set. And then this etched set of six is $10 for the set of six. And I also have a set of three. One broke tonight. And that was... Um, Six dollars for the set of three. If anyone's interested in those possibly 20s to 40s etched glasses, just let me know. And Lana, thank you for the for claiming the dogs. And uh, I think that's that's it for my turn. Thank you, ladies. Lucy, do you have anything else you want to show? No, oh, ma'am, I'm done. Okay. I did not mean to sound so aggressive. <laughs> you did <laughs> not. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to show? Mm. Yes. God, I've never hit anyone in my entire life, but sometimes I talk and I'm so aggressive. <laughs> so aggressive. Be, be aggressive. <laughs> I should have been a cheerleader, but I wasn't. I was ashamed of my fatness. Which was stupid, because, like, there was other fat cheerleaders in my school, so, like, it's not like it would have been, you know. Uh, so I'll just show you the biggest one I have. This is the biggest piece of lab I have right now. This is a lab palm stone, and it is $20. I had a lab free form, but I thought that one's already sold. Dinosaur eyes. Carmen said, I want the set of six glasses, please. So that's the biggest one. And I've got smaller ones. Uh, if you want me to show the other ones, I can. They're tiered in their 2015 and 10, or 2015, 10, and 8, or 2015 and 8. I don't remember 100%, so we're going to have to do some guesswork. You want the lab? Would you like any more lab? This is my bag of lab. <laughs> I got a couple other big chonkers. They're just not as big as that one. Uh, I don't think I have my measuring thing over here. One, two, a little over three inches long. And then... Yeah, about three and a half. And then I've got a couple that are almost three inches. I'm doing a bang up job. I promise they're all very stunning, but I, apparently I can't show them like that. These ones are all 15. My light makes it so hard to show them. They're even prettier than this. It's just so hard to show. It really is um, like the flashiest lab I've ever seen, though. This batch you got. Yeah, they're worth a lot more than what I'm selling them for. But, um... Trying to recoup. 
um it, it was almost accidental like i accidentally started them this low and then it's not like i could take it back so <laughs> just rolling with it <laughs> And then here's the last one that's 15. Sandy, those are okay. a nice size to hold before you fold, hold as you fall asleep. Yeah, so this is the biggest one. Yeah. I don't think I have the free form over here anymore. That one had a really pretty purple flush. CCC wants the biggest one and the bluest one. Okay. Um, well, those are going to be two different ones. The biggest one has all the colors on it, but it does have a lot of, like, gold, and it's all, like, outlined in blue. Where this one, it has a huge blue flash. Okay, and it's, so like, the biggest one and which of the smallest is bluest? Okay. Well, I think that'll be this one then. Because, like, its whole side is basically a giant blue flash. That's that one. Yep, I want the big 20 and the bluest one, too. I'm torn. I tried to have um, a less <laughs> monotone voice just then. I think that's going to be this one. They're all pretty. It's really hard. Yeah, that one's got like orange and red in it. I love that rainbow though. And just show she wants to see the one you pick out. The hematite. Oh, this one's got like a hematite inclusion on it, and it looks like a thumbprint. Oh, look how cool it is! That's not the one I picked out. That's cool. That is. is cool. Isn't that sick? Yeah, I love that. This is the one I picked out for you. Uh, the back is flashy, but it's hard to show. And it there's like there's a lot of deep blue that's in there. Like if you, I don't know if you carve, but if you shave this down a little bit, um, you'd be able to get all those really deep blues that are in there and it'd be even brighter. But I picked it because of this side. So we've got this nice light blue over here. And then over here, we've got a nice really deep blue. And in terms of blue, that's the, that's the nicest one that's got the blue in it. So, yeah. I don't think you ever purchased from me before. Please send me an email either to this one or to the rehomer Miranda at gmail.com. And that one is down in the cards. In the card. It's down in the cards. Uh, it's down in the description. And uh, let me know when you've uh, sent the email. And then I can, you know, double check everything. And we'll get you taken care of. And yeah. Uh, does anyone have any other questions? And does anyone want to see any other lab or any other stones? Nice. Our brains are on the same wave pattern. Hmm? Um, there's, so, there's so much stuff over here. I do have carved animals if anyone does want to see them. I've got a lot of elephants left. I'm getting ready to order the turtles. And I'm going to order a couple more owls. Uh, I've got lots of wolf head beads. I have little garden quartz mini spheres. And I have raw celestite chunks. Um, I've got all those chunky towers I showed earlier. And I do have a plethora of stone dragon heads. Um I really like dragon heads, and uh, so I picked up a lot of them. I have two absolutely stunning, gorgeous, big moss agate dragon heads, and I have a rose quartz dragon head as well. And then I have a couple smaller um, agate, uh, agate dragon heads with druzy on the center, and then I have little moss agate dragon heads as well. I don't have any peacocks. I've actually never seen a peacock. And I have some labbed um, wolf heads. 
Um, and I think that's the only lab that I have that's carved right now. Lab carvings, as you probably know, are they're just more expensive. It's so annoying. I don't think I have... Oh! Actually, I have another lab carving, too. He's in here. Oh, my chakra stars are in the way. There we go. He's not very flashy, but he is lab. All right, bear with me a moment while I put these away. Yes, Teresa, I have elephants. I don't know why I did that. Hey, and Gina's got a lab sphere. I haven't picked up any more lab spheres in a while. I don't know why I sold them all. I guess I could have got more. Um, this one is $25, and it is a skull moon. And he is the lighter kind of lab. And I know he's got flash down. Oh, there's some red and some blue. And then he's got flash up there. So this one's 25. Is that guy? And he is. Almost two and a half inches tall, probably about two and a quarter. And then the wolf heads are all ten dollars, or are they twelve dollars? I don't remember. That's not good. Okay, hang on. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. So here's. We'll just say this is number one, and we'll just say they're $10, because I can't remember. He's got a rainbow on the middle of his head. Ah. And these are beaded, so they are drilled through the holes, and they, they, are, they have a hole drilled through the ears so that you can wear them as a pendant. So that's going to be number one. Can I just say, Gina, that that wolf has decalcified his pineal gland? What? <laughs> What? He had his pineal gland. He had a rainbow where his third eye goes. Aww. This one's number two. <laughs> Got lots of blue flash back there. Number three. Lots of blue flash on that guy as well. This one has, this is number four. It's got flash, but not as much, like not very much. I don't even know if you'll be able to notice in very tiny places. So that's number four. And this one's number five. Apparently I've got lots of lab wolf heads. And... I don't know what that is. So we'll just say that there's five. And then these wolf heads are about an inch and a half tall. So here's what he looks like up against my neck. So I remember it's, it's meant to be a pendant. So my neck. <laughs> and I have a big neck, so I get the shirt. And then this guy was 25. That's what he looks like compared to my neck. He is not a pendant. Tono. Tono. I love that. Okay. 
Hey, Mari. It is a good size sphere. It is one of the, like the bigger ones that I have. I'll show you. Hi. Sorry. Um. So the wolf heads, those are ten dollars, and this moon, this lab, uh, skull moon is twenty five. And I've got two bigger versions of this one. He's just they're just not made of lab, and they're thirty. So, Lana's taking a number two. You got it. Is anyone else interested in uh, one of the lab wolves? I also have a uh, rose quartz, black obsidian, African bloodstone, clear quartz, and fluorite, and green adventurine. So, if any of that should be people's hands. Which one, Mari? Do you wanna do you want a lab one? Do you want me to find like a pretty a pretty one for you? I have a feeling you might not have seen them. Oh my god, marker, please work. There we go. Take me into Flashy Lab, okay. Um, so that one's got like the rainbow on the third eye. Ooh, that one's good. I got you. You're getting number three. It's gonna be a secret and you're gonna like it. Promise. All right, can I fancy anything, anybody, anything else? Uh, I'm going to let Gina go ahead and show. Um, the wolf is made out of labradorite. We just call it lab for short. Welcome to the knowledge party. So triple C, don't forget to send me an email. I'm watching you. I'm going to go over to Gina and let her show for a second. And then um, uh, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up the elephants to show you. Okay, Teresa? Okay, I think we're I think we're on the same page. Thank you so much, everybody. And there's the gene geninator. <laughs> I just wanted to show the labs here. I have this guy is thirty two. So it has more like sporadic flashy bits. Ooh. Ignore the ring light. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Love that. Definitely not not ready yet, but I'm I'm it'd be there in just a second. <laughs> oh, and this part of lab is five dollars it's just a little um like a little palm stone and it's like a a buddhist deity or something like that hindu maybe a hindu mother. god yeah yeah this guy's on clearance i love mine that i got from you and i also have some smaller uh lab this is an eight dollar one. Just because people were into the lab. There's another eight dollar one. Ooh. Another eight dollar one. So, yeah, 
frog is mine now. Nobody wanted my frog, Gina. Well, that's surprising. You see, see, I do have the dolphins. These are five dollars. He was so cute. Did you want any of those? Wait, Happy. what were the last? What are the last two things you just showed? Oh, the slab palms. Oh, those little dolphins are so cute. Yeah, they're five bucks each. It's little dolphins. They look like Jaspers. One's like a burgundy. They're both mine now. CC said dolphin wants. <laughs> I think she came in first. <laughs> Can you just confirm, CC? Fine. If you wanted one or both, or they're five dollars. <laughs> just let me know. So <laughs> I'm gonna talk about. over her. In case you didn't hear her. The dolphins are five dollars each, and if you want them both, you can have them both. Patty, I had really big chonkers. I've showed them to you three times now. <sighs> well, I do have. <laughs> Patty, did you miss the twenty dollar kind of chunky goldstone? Oh yeah, you already got a goldstone. Those aren't even chunky, man. Mine are—they're like three inches thick. Mine are fucking <laughs> really chunky. <laughs> Is this all right? Tickle your fancy. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. See, that's how mine are. They're thick like that. It's crazy. That one's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know if I wanted to part which, with this one. Which eight has the most blue? Oh, which $8 lab has the most blue? I think that's what they're asking. Sorry, we get off track here. <laughs> that's, this one's more of a yellow. Gina, can you show me the first palm stone you show for eight dollars? <laughs> oh boy, let's see. Mari said eight lab palm. <laughs> okay, Michelle. <laughs> I don't know which right. one is the most blue. All right, so Triple C is going to take the brown dolphin in your right hand and the prettiest eight dollar bluest lab. Okay, so you want the brown one. So I'm guessing this one, not the reddish one. I'll take the You want the, the reddish one? Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever one they don't want, I'll take the other one. Okay. I think we're definitely lagging today. Everyone, refresh real quick. Okay, CCC has requested the most blue lab. So let me just try to find that first. We got this one. You know, most of these aren't very bluish. They're more on the yellow side as far as flash goes. Oh, That one has some blue, that one there. That one has a little bit of blue. We Other will own dolphins. The other side isn't terribly flashy. <laughs> she wants you to call her Triple C. Triple C. Okay. Sorry. This guy has some blue. Well, Patty, when Jean is done, if you're still here, I'll show you again. There's this some one might be the bluest so far. Oh, Lucid, this are you one, still here? This one's more like yellow and green. Yes. <laughs> I'm being held prisoner. I think this is the first one I showed, though. I think this is what Michelle was talking about. This is like, I think, the third one I showed. This is like a yellowish, orangey flash. So, Triple C. The bluish one I see is probably this one. I love how they're like, yes, that one is blue. And then Michelle's like, I like that one, Gina. Yeah, don't like forget, guys, we have a lag. <laughs> <laughs> when we you say that you. one, it could be like the one I showed two stones before this. <laughs> so, <laughs> triple C, would you like this one? Is this the most blue? I think it's the most blue. It looks really blue. Yeah, just let me know. Because this one, this one does have some blue, but it's 
kind of green too. I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba da. <laughs> Number them. Yes, the blue is the one. <laughs> okay, let me go check these ones again. That one has a little bit of blue. Okay, so here's number one. Okay, the one just, okay, wait, stop. The one you just showed is number one or the one in your hand is number one? This one is gonna be number one. Okay. This is gonna be number one. This is the one I feel has the most blue. This is gonna be number two. It's like a lighter blue, but more on the green side, as you can see, more blue, yellow. So that's gonna be number two. Number three is a little smaller. This is a $6 one. And this one has a, the blue wists. It's not as flashy. The flash is smaller, but it has the bluest shade. See right there? That's the most blue blue. So that's number three. That's $6. The other two are eight. This guy, not very blue so we won't count him so i think that those three that i just showed are the bluest for triple c um, i can keep going this is number four number four is not blue but we'll call him number four let's see one two three four number five is the one i believe michelle liked this is the first one i showed That's number five. And then number six is this long one. Triple C, number one, eight dollars. Number one, okay. Carolyn, I think I found a pair of gloves today, but I don't know if they were lined. That's this guy right here. Yeah. Not as, oh, there we go. There's more flash in the back there. My wig and is a This was number one. <sighs> Michelle, be unconfused. What can she get for me? <laughs> okay, that one's yours, Triple C. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Michelle was next, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Michelle, this, I think this was the first one I showed. This is not, let's call this number one again. Number two is this one. This is $6. It's the smallest. Has a little bit of blue there. Mari number wants number five. This is number three. <laughs> <laughs> this is number three. This is probably the flashiest one, number three. Number four, which I believe is your number five, Mari, is this one. This was number five. It's now number four. <laughs> is that the one? Okay. But Michelle is second, I believe. She said, Gina is right on mine. Michelle, can you please just confirm that this is the one that you wanted? I believe that number one was the first one that you saw. Uh -huh. came in <laughs> second, so we're waiting on you. And then um, Mari can pick, right? Because Mari was number three. Uh, I don't know. Well, let me yeah. scroll up. Let's scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scrolling, nothing's happening. Uh, Patty says, what's that green one? Yeah, Triple C said, which eight has most blue? And then Michelle said, Gina, can you show me the first palm stone you showed for eight? And then Mari said, eight lab palm. So it was like, boom, boom, boom. Like, literally, you all came at the same time. Okay. Oh, Patty wants to see the green fluorite tower. Okay. <laughs> Mari was yeah. uh, Well, n not technically. I know, Patty. Hang on. Michelle wants to see goth sides. Please. <clears throat> Both sides. <laughs> and Mari said Mari was second. Hang on, Mari. And Patty wants to see the green tower. I think that's right. I'll show that okay. after these. I don't know what the green tower is. That's both sides of number one. Number two. 
Number two has a little bit of a really blue area. Like right here. This guy's six. Everyone else is eight. This is number three. Number three is very flashy. <laughs> Now you're really a prisoner. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> and number five is the long guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a jerk michelle she is big michelle said nope that's not it and then she yelled big screen at me and triple c wants number four too now hang on triple c well triple c you kind of already claimed what you wanted and then you so i think the other ladies get to choose first and then if it's left over you can have it right isn't that fair well, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's the one that Mari wants. What, honey? Hi, honey. It smells bad? Uh-oh. Apparently, it smells bad in here. Dante? Right. What Mari call? wants number four. Can we just give Mari number four? <laughs> Mari's got number four. Michelle says I'm number Michelle. four, too. Oh, crap. Who do we give it to, Miranda? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you guys okay <laughs> all right listen hang on okay is, i'm surprised no one wants number three this is the flashiest one pause we're just gonna pause for a second all right hang on if number three is left in the end let me know <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all making me laugh now logically with the rules of the auction hang on i climbed back up again so hold on a second now triple c came in first for the eight dollar lab pumps they took what they wanted and then we moved on to the next people in line, which would have been Michelle and then Mari. Because now, she has to see it, so it doesn't count, right? Uh, I mean, I counted it. Okay. Hang on, honey. <laughs> so, logically, following auction rules, it goes to triple C. Number four goes to triple C. If y'all bitches wanted it, you should have put it in the damn chat sooner. <laughs> uh, what do you mean it's my fault? Well, you are the auctioneer. The auctioneer is not clear, then it goes to the fault of the auction. I'm not the one showing right now. Gina is. So it's Gina's fault. <laughs> what about Mari already saying she wanted number four a few times already now? Ah, hang on. That's that's true. Hold on, pause. Mm. Technically, she said she wanted number five from the last round. Is number four number five from the last round? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, then number four goes to Mari, and everyone else is forfeit. Yeah, we recounted them. One one went, so we recounted. So five is now four. So this is now number four. So this was number five. So this is it. So this is what Mario so, wanted. Once she claimed that you should have taken that one out of there and then not shown it anymore. I, have walked the most steps I was waiting on Michelle because I thought Michelle was second. I thought that was what was fair. What we were, what we were waiting on? Michelle. Wait. I thought Michelle had to pick second. Even though Mari already stated which one she wanted, Michelle was technically second, so I thought she had to go first. You fired, you fired, you fired, you fired. Uh, I don't know. So are we okay with this or are we not okay with well, this? Well, Mari said five before she realized that I changed the numbers of them, though. She, technically, she did want four. 
She just well, didn't know that I had changed the numbers of them. You know what I mean? Don't forget what number three is because number three is one. the big round one with the most flash. This yeah, was let's... number four. This is now number three. This that's was the one... number five. This is now number four. This is okay, the one don't, that Mari don't, said she wanted. Don't confuse. Hang on. Hang on. I just want you to know. <laughs> PMB wants number three if nobody else wants it. So just make a mental note. Write it down. Jot it down. So. If you want to be really technical, Michelle just said that she wanted to see it, and she didn't technically put a bid in, so technically Mari would get second pick. If we really want to be, like, really super to technical. Something. Maybe we should be super technical, because this is getting confusing for people. I mean, that's that's how you claim them, right? You claim them by putting the number of the price. No, honey, hang on a second. Oh, is there bubblegum on the table still? Oh, it's like bazooka bubblegum. Okay, well, this is the final thing that's happening. Mari's getting number four. Okay. Mari, number four. Thank you. I'm really sorry, guys. Michelle, is there another one that you want? And please, pretty please, don't be mad at me and know that you know I love you. Thank you, Mari. I still have number three left. It's super flashy, Michelle. I don't understand why no one wants this one. <laughs> well, you said... Can you show me the first palm stone you showed $8? Michelle, but this one has the most flash. Technically, perfect palm stone. I wouldn't think that was a bit just reading it. I would, I like, I thought you just had like a question and you wanted to see it. Same. I'm glad you're not mad, and you know I love you. So. Yes, please don't be mad, anybody. <laughs> No one's mad. No, we're not confused anymore, hopefully. Michelle, if you still want one, hang on, honey. Let her know what number you want, okay? Okay. okay. I need to renumber them now, okay? Girl! <laughs> what? <laughs> Re renumbering gets us into trouble. Don't renumber. There's just a gap now. Now it goes one, two, three, space five. Four doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is number one. Hi, Denise. There's not much flash on the back of that one. Here's number two. It has a little but very blue flash. This one's six. This is the only one that is six. Not much flash on the back. That I can tell. Nope. Okay. Here's number three. The big circular one with lots of flash. Here's the back. And here's number five. This is a long one. No, two are gone, Patty. I renumbered them a while back, so I'm just keeping it like that. <laughs> so um, PMB gets number three because they claimed that one first. And then whichever one is the $6 one, Triple C wants that one. And, ooh, honey, please be careful. Um, does anybody else want one? <laughs> Michelle, you have not claimed one yet. She might have left. She could still be here. She could be laughing. She could be crying. I kind of want to cry right now. Teresa, I hope you're here. You're being very patient, love. Sorry, ladies. It's all right. Things happen. Things get confusing. And then we unconfuse them and move on. That's how it happens. I have one set aside for triple C. 
Mari, did you get the six dollar one to triple C? Triple C wants a six dollar one. Yep. All right. Yes, my teeth. Oh, honey, I'm dealing with something. <laughs> Apparently, I got to deal with Andy. Hey, Denise. Thank you, Triple C. All right. And I have two left. The original number one. Well, after I renumbered them and there were six originally. This one's left. And then the long number five is left. This guy's eight, too. And what it was made of. Do you know what your invoice have descriptions? Um, Triple C, I'll probably just put, like, lab palm. Labradorite palm. I could label all the stones if you'd like to. Cool, Patty. Nice. All right, two left. Anyone want the other, the last two? Michelle, are you still interested in one? We still have the long one. They're both $8. Triple C, just put the $6 one, Michelle. Uh, so the dolphins were $5, and she's pretty sure they are a Jasper. Not 100% oh. sure what kind. Yeah. Oh, my leg is asleep. Jasper. Teresa said, Miranda, I ain't going anywhere. Well, thank you. <laughs> just, just make sure to close the fridge. Uh... Patty Paw said, how much is the long one? They're both $8, aren't they? Yep. Okay. They're both $8. Very simple. Very easy. $8, no holla honey. Make me a sandwich, please. No, honey, can make a sandwich. Oh, will you heat me up a breakfast sandwich? Well, okay, then. Michelle wants number three, and then she said she took three, and then Triple C said, okay, thank you. There is no number three. Michelle, if you want one, we have these two left. Or if anyone wants one, just put $8 in and you can claim one first. This is number yeah. one. And this was number five. This talk is number <laughs> Andy's sitting in the hallway. <laughs> and he's just I'm, like, I'm, this I'm talk is to, great. I'm trying to talk to me. I'm busy right now. Give me a minute, okay? I need literally 10 more minutes and I'm going to be done. Why don't you let the puppies out? They gotta go to the bathroom. You're gonna count 10 minutes in your head from seconds? Do it while you let the dogs out, please. Honey. Oh, Michelle, I'm sorry. All right, we're going to move on from these lab palms unless anyone else is interested, okay? All right, Patty Paws wants to see the green tower. Okay. You can... I don't know if you can put them in the ocean. I mean, if you really want to, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to, Lana. They're for you. They're heal. They're, they're like they're healing crystals for your mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> deep breath, Gina. Deep breath with me. I just feel bad. That's all. I want every. I want everything to be fair. Always, you know. My brain wants to explode. I just want to sell Teresa these fucking elephants <laughs> and then go pee. <laughs> All right, Patty, this big green fluorite tower is $45. It does have like an internal possible crack inside. I am not sure, but you know how fluorite is. Sometimes it just looks like that. There is some texture, but I think that was just from the 
the glue that was protecting the tip. It does have some purple in there. That is correct, Lana. It is very chunky. Patty Paws, are you still here or did you fall asleep again? Let us know if you're <laughs> still here, love. <laughs> oh my gosh, she can have it and it feels all good. Oh, you ladies are very sweet. Patty Paws said, pass, sorry. All right. Okay. What, was there anything else Gina had that you guys wanted to see before I drop kick someone? No, I'm kidding. I don't drop kick people, but it would feel it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to drop kick someone, you know? It's like a little drop hey, kick. That's a big, uh, mostly green, little bit of purple fluorite tower. It's $45. It's a really big chunker, and it's a circular tower. Drop kick. Girl, you missed it. How you doing? Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Let her know. I'm gonna do this real quick so that like I don't die. Patty wants the long lab for eight dollars. You got it. Thank you, Patty. All right, I'm just gonna save the last one for Michelle, okay, ladies? We're just gonna gift it to Michelle for her <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet of you. All right, I don't know if you saw these, Miss Patty Paws. I'm gonna show you really fast, and then I gotta show Teresa these elephants, and then we're leaving. This one is $20, and this is a pink tourmaline tower. That's this chunky guy here. Now, the chunkiest tower I have is this septarium and he's huge he is 25 dollars, and he is a chunker it's hard to show you how chunky he is and then i've got two 15 dollar ones number one and number two and these are septarium as well and these are 15. One, two. One and two, I think. That's that's what they are down here. One and two. <laughs> so, Patty, those are my chunky babies. Let me know if you would like a chunky baby. And then I've got this really chunky, this little fluorite's 25. And she's got beautiful colors. It's very pretty and chunky. Pretty chunky. Elizabeth, I think you saw those these, but in case you didn't and you really want a bowl, these bowls are $35. These are stone bowls. They are agate. You can put water in them. You can put a sphere on them. You can put tumbles in them. They're $35 and it goes one, two, three. Cool. One, two, three. All right. <clears throat> Next. Elephants. The elephants are ten dollars. I'm gonna number them. If you want an elephant, put the number of the elephant that you want in the chat. Please let Teresa pick first because she is the one who asked for them first. Thank you. Number one, this is a sodalite elephant. Number two is brown. <laughs> brown elephant. Number three is like a yellowy elephant. Number four is a little baby elephant. Uh, number five is like gray and peach. Number six, blue highlight dyed. Number seven, Clear quartz. Number eight, clear clear quartz. Number nine, green adventurine. And number 10, picture Jasper. As far as I can tell. Number 11 
is only six dollars and it is fake malachite my back hurts <laughs> Patty, are you passing on my chonky towers? Chonky towers. Teresa, would you like any of those elephants? You want number 11? Yeah. That is the $6 one. The elephants are $10. Apart from that one that she just bought. That one's only 6 The shorter chonker. This one? Just confirm for me, Patty. And the only green elephant I have left is going to be number nine, and it is Green Adventurine. Get down, Teresa. Thank you, Patty. Would anybody else like an elephant? Why do I see pink elephants? I don't have a pink elephant. I don't know. I cannot answer that question. Oh! Patty, send me a picture. So the other chunky one I had, Patty, paused was this one, and it was 20, and it's pink tourmaline. So that's the other chunker, in case you missed it. Okay, I'm going to assume nobody else wants any elephants. Ladies, Lucid left. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Uh, we're going to say goodbye. I love you guys. If anyone else Thank wants something, speak now forever. Hold your peace. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. What time? 3 Eastern, 2 Central, I will be live in my storage unit, showing clothes, shoes, bags, whatever I got in there. Pretty much everything is a dollar, and if you spend $20 while you're over there, the stuff that you get that's over there will ship for free. Now, I don't know. I love you guys. You're pretty cool, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. You're pretty Bye. cool. Bye, guys. <laughs> Oh, uh, Triple C, send me an email with your information, and I can email uh, back to you. I can PayPal you, but I prefer to use Square, and uh, all my stuff is under the Rehomer, and that's how it will come to your email, so you won't be confused um, by that. And then Gina Fancy is Spunky Meow or Gina Fancy, so she is either her name or her email. Gina will probably be sleeping at 3 o'clock Eastern. <laughs> no, I've been getting up earlier, actually. <laughs> Really? Are, Are you, you gonna come out I, with me? I got up at twelve o'clock today. Um, I'm not gonna email you right now, but I do need you to email your me your information because I don't know anybody that like has it that I auction with. So do it before you go to bed. Okay. Yeah, I I'm hate you. I have no way of invoicing you. <laughs> PayPal sucks. Just so you know, they really do suck. But if I have to. I can.
there's a few people that I had that I um I only paid from. Okay, good night. We're leaving because I talk forever. Bye, guys. Bye.